embrace the process of design system. It changes the workflow in your team, in your project, so everything is quite easy to access. So before you might have difficulties to access the designs that are the current versions or the proper versions. You might have the trouble of, you know, where the designs are. Uh, so are they on the separate machine of the client? Are they on the email or on the Dropbox? So where are they? And are they final? Are they, are they current? And so on. And with the design system, it's it's easier. You just embrace the you know the software that is given to you, and it's easy to access. So you upload the designs to the certain place. Let's call it a repository, and then it's easy accessible to you know designer, any other designer, and to the tester and for the developer. Uh, so everyone everyone can reference it. Everyone can access it. With design systems, we try to, you know, and we accomplish the change where it's no longer a pain because you have this single source of, you know, colors, typography rules, uh, spacings over the whole application, the grid system, and so on. And this, in this one place, you can change the whole thing. So. Of course, if you would like to change some logic in the application, you should change it elsewhere. But in case of you know redesign of the application, it's fairly easy, and the, the designers can easily test their experiments. You know, they can uh, just change the color of it over the whole application to the different one, and it will be easy and yeah, very very accomplished in a very short period of time. The design system is basically for everyone in a team. So you have the designer, you have developer, you have tester, you have you as a client, you have a product owner. So every, everyone is up to date with the current state of the project and you have the single point of reference. So it's basically for everyone.